Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another memory spread for you guys and this is going to be in my Michaels Recollections Planner which is the new planner that I'm using for this school year and the kit that I have for this week is from a shop called Beautiful Mess Plans Co. This will be my first time using a kit from her shop and this one is called Road Trip. I purchased this kit specifically for this week because we were on a road trip um, during this week and I just thought that was really perfect. Perfect. So here we have the full boxes and this is a photo kit as you can see. Um, this next page we've got the bottom washi, washi strips and a quote box here that says it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Here we have the checklist and also a Monday through Sunday box for the sidebar. We've got our half boxes, quarter boxes, headers, and then the next page has, if I can get there, We've got some icons, checklists, appointment labels, little things here at the bottom. And the last page has more quarter boxes, some sidebar trackers, a weekend banner, and a bunch of tech stickers here at the bottom. So I definitely have quite a lot of stickers to work with, which is exciting. Um, I might need to pull in more half boxes because I noticed there's only six and I typically like to pull in at least one half box a day. Um, so we'll see, maybe I won't for this week. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started by placing down the bottom washi as I usually do. And I just wanna say, I really love this bottom washi theme with this like scenery and then the little VW bus. I just think it's so cute. Um, so yeah, that's where we will begin. I had to trim off a little bit of the bottom washi because I've noticed that the bottom washi section on the recollections planner is just a little shorter compared to the Erin Condren. So in order for it to fit in this planner, I did have to just trim off about a centimeter from the top, as you can see, and that was really easy. Um, the pink pen that I'm using to draw the line is the Pilot Juice Up in 0.4. And I picked this up when I was in Japan. I don't really use it in my planner usually um, because I don't use like colored pens, but I do love it for like writing cards and things like that because it's in a really cute bubblegum pink color, which is my favorite. Moving to the sidebar, I decided to leave the July 2020 at the top and I placed down the quote box underneath that. Then I used a habit tracker to track my working out for the week, which I did not do at all since I was out of town on vacation. And then I used an appointment label, I believe, and that happy moment sticker is from Planner Just For You and it's in my writing. For my dinners, I had put down a header and then on top of it, I used this dinner script sticker from Planner Just For You, which is also in my writing. And I placed down the second Monday through Sunday box there at the bottom. I go ahead and write in workout on my habit tracker before moving to Monday. So for Monday, I used a today header at the very top. Then I used a little things with a suitcase from, I think it's from Sweet Fox Papery. I think this one is so cute. And I used it to mark that we packed and checked out of our hotel that morning um, because we had already started on our road trip. Then underneath that, I used a coffee sticker from Mr. and Mrs. Mint to mark that we grabbed some coffee at Dutch Bros, which is one of my favorite coffee places. Um, but unfortunately, they don't have any near me and so I love when I travel to places that have Dutch Bros it's so good um, I put down a full box underneath that and I chose the one with the open road um, because that was pretty much the bulk of our day I think we drove seven hours that day to get up to Portland um, and to mark our drive I had initially used a car sticker from Happy Dia stickers um, but it didn't end up fitting with my writing so I swapped it for this car from Hazel sticker instead on that quarter box, I used a house icon from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark that we checked into our Airbnb and also met up with a friend there. Then underneath that, I used a flag from the kit with a pasta sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark what we had for dinner. And we actually had French food, but I don't have any like French food icons. So I just had to use that Italian pasta sticker, which I thought was the closest thing that I had in my collection. Um, then at the very bottom, I put down a half box. Um, the ice cream sticker is from Very Cute Designs and that beer icon is from Once More With Love. I just got them, so they're new in my collection. And I use that to mark grabbing some ice cream at Salt and Straw, which is so good. And then we grab some beers at the end of the night. And yeah, that was pretty much it for our little one night adventure in Portland. Um, then moving to Tuesday, I first used a quarter box with this heart-eyed Maru sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that we had some mochi donuts that morning. It was my first time trying them and they're so good. I like them a lot better than regular donuts because um, 
they're super chewy and just like not as sweet. And then underneath that, I used a half box and placed down that Happy Dia car sticker I initially used on Monday to mark that we continued our road trip up to Montana. And um, before moving on, I decided to use some arrow stickers from the kit to mark that we had to pack and check out of our Airbnb that morning. Um, and then I replaced the half box with the car sticker. Underneath that, to cover up the gray bar on the planner, I used a to-do header with a sandwich sticker from Once More With Love to mark that we got some gas and also some sandwiches as a snack. And then we finally made it up to Montana and were reunited with our group of friends that were doing the trip together. Um, I used an appointment label with these really excited Munchkin BFFs from Once More With Love to mark that. And it was really great getting to see everyone. We all agreed to drive in together so we didn't have to risk flying and we're just all being super Super careful along the way so that we could still safely get together and then I placed down a full box underneath that. At the very bottom I pulled in this game sticker I think that's from Hazel sticker and I used that to mark that we spent the night playing games out in the gazebo and um, that was pretty much it for Tuesday. On Wednesday, I first placed down a full box at the very top. Then I used a meal icon little things to mark what we had for breakfast. Um, I used a quarter box underneath that with a shoe icon from Hazel sticker to mark where we went on a quick hike. And the views in Montana are just so beautiful and so amazing. Um, I loved every second of being there. This is my third summer in a row going up to Montana and it just never gets old. It's just always so beautiful. I then used a half box with this floating mochi sticker from Mochi Kichi to mark that we did a river float that afternoon, which is like one of my favorite things ever. You basically get on a giant tube and um, we end up drinking a lot of beers while we just float down the river. We tried to do it every single day that we were there. Um, but yeah, then underneath that, I used a today header and a beer sticker. I think this one is from Happy Sherpa Papery. It's super cute. It's like a little beer can. And I used that to mark playing some drinking games later in the afternoon. At the end of the night, we had a bonfire, so I decided to mark that first. I used a quarter box and that fire sticker, unfortunately, I think is from a shop that's no longer open. Um, I used my pilot brush lettering pen to write bonfire. And then above that, I used a card icon from Hazel sticker to mark that we played this card game called Legretto, which is really fun. I don't know if any of you have heard it before or played it before, um, but it's something I discovered in Montana and I love it. Moving on to Thursday, I first placed down a today header at the very top. Then I used a cooking munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that it was my turn to cook for the group that morning. And so my boyfriend and I got up early and made some breakfast for everyone. Um, then underneath that, we went and swam along a river that afternoon. So to mark that, I used a quarter box from the kit with a sunglasses sticker from Hazel sticker. I initially placed down a half box and this beer is from Hazel sticker as well. And I wrote that we had some beers at a local tavern, which was great because they had a huge outdoor area as well. So um, it was really nice sitting out in the sun and having some pitchers of beer. Um, but I decided to add a full box on top of that. So I go ahead and lift the half box um, and then replace it underneath the full box. I then used a shocked emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I actually jumped off a bridge into the river. Um, I'm kind of a scaredy cat and I'm not very adventurous at all. So this was a huge deal for me. I literally went back and forth for like 10 minutes and finally I mustered up the courage to jump off. Um, so yeah, I definitely had to note that in my planner because it's something that I was really proud to accomplish. And then underneath that, I used another flag and another mochi from Mochi Kichi to mark that we did another river float that day which again was lovely and then at the end of the night we played some games including one called salad bowl which always turns out super fun and super hilarious so i decided to mark that using a little things from the kit on Friday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom and you do see me whiting out on top of it. Um, as you can see, the whiteout color is definitely visible, um, but once I place another sticker on top of it, you won't be able to tell as much. So I haven't really had too much problems with the whiteout. At the top of Friday, I used a half box and some munchkins from Once More With Love to mark that it was my boyfriend and my eight year anniversary, which is crazy that we've been together for so long. Then underneath that, I initially used this hiking sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that we did another little hike. Um, but later I do switch it out because I just felt like there were too many character stickers in that little section. Um, I then moved towards the middle of the spread and I cut up a checklist into three items um, to mark some games that we played 
made that night and I used an odds and ends header on top of it. I used an arrow sticker from the kit to mark that we helped our friend with dinner that night. And then I used a quarter box on top of that. I worked from the bottom up because I wanted to figure out my spacing for the day. And this is where I switched up that hiking icon to the shoe icon instead, which is also from paper and milk. I then used another floating mochi from Mochi Kichi to mark that we attempted to do another river float on that day, um, but unfortunately we ran into an impending storm, um, so we were like seeing lightning and we heard thunder while we were on the river, um, so we had to get out immediately because that just you know could be a really dangerous situation. So we ended up having to do what I called a river escape, and um, we basically had to climb up this really steep like dirt hill, um, trying to like get to the road so we could like get out of the river and back home so yeah it was like super sketch but luckily we all survived and no one got hurt i decided to use this very expressive egg emoji from hazel sticker to mark that whole river escape situation and then i moved to the checklist where i wrote down the things that we did that night and it was our last night in montana so it was definitely bittersweet and i just wanted to remember the things that we did on Saturday, I first placed down a quarter box. Initially, I used this gold foiled heart from White Deer Stationery to mark that we were leaving the town and had to say goodbye to our friends. Um, at the very, very end, I did switch out that heart because it was the only gold foiled I had pulled in and um, I ended up deciding just to keep this whole spread not foiled. I used a full box underneath that and then I used a road trip sticker from Bookish Planning to mark that we continued our road trip. Um, we were heading home but we did stop by a few places along the way. Our first stop was Glacier National Park and it was so beautiful. It was pretty out of the way but I was really glad that we ended up going. Um, so I decided to use this mountain sticker from Paper and Milk. I thought it was really appropriate to mark the occasion and then we continued our drive. Um, we ended the night in Bozeman which is also in Montana and that little car sticker is from Nicole Hutch Designs. By the time we got to our hotel, it was like 10 o'clock because um, it had just been a long day of driving. And so we had to grab a quick dinner and um, got some Panda Express, which I marked using this takeout box from Once More With Love. And then we just relaxed in our hotel room because we literally drove for like 12 hours that day. So it just felt super nice to lay in our bed. And the pillow sticker is from Happy Sherpa Papery. Moving on to Sunday, I first started by placing down a today header at the top. Then I used a little things and I covered up the meal part with a house sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark that we checked out of our hotel that morning. And then we drove down to Yellowstone, which was our next location. I used a half box that was from my leftover stash because I ran out of half boxes from the kit. And I also pulled in this heart location sticker from a shop that unfortunately has been closed. Underneath that, I used an appointment label with this hiking Maru sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that we did some short hikes around Yellowstone, and then we continued our drive, so I decided to use a full box with the open road to mark that. We did drive through Grand Teton National Park, which is like right underneath Yellowstone, so we did stop like one time on the way, but pretty much just kind of drove through it, and um, initially I used a car from Nicole Hedge Designs, but I realized I had just used that same icon the day before in the same spot, so I switched it out for this Hazel sticker icon instead. We made it to our hotel in Driggs, Idaho. Um, so I marked that using a little things. And then at the bottom, I placed down a quarter box and my boyfriend and I ended up doing a date night. Um, I think it's like the first time we ate out at a restaurant together since quarantine. So that was really nice. Um, the date night script sticker is in my writing. That's from Planner Just For You. And I also use this date night emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. That concludes our week on the road. So I go ahead and move to my sidebar to track my happy moments and my dinners. And like I said, I didn't work out at all. So I didn't have to check anything off. Um, once I'm done with that, I go ahead and show you guys these stickers that I have left in this kit. I have one full box left over and I chose not to use that because it has the same photo as the bottom washi. And I'm just doing a walkthrough to show you guys the details from the spread. Um, you will notice that I had switched out the gold foiled heart icon with this little Polaroid picture sticker um, from Dizzy Daisy Dreams at the top of Saturday. 
That pretty much concludes this week, and I honestly love, love, love how this turned out. Um, I really, really miss this trip. I'm so glad that we did this. It was definitely something we had went back and forth on a lot because of everything going on with COVID, Um, but as a group, we just all decided to take a lot of safety measures, and getting to do this trip just made my heart so full, and I just absolutely loved getting to put down all of these memories in my planner. Um, So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this, please let me know what you think or if you have any questions. And yeah, I really hope you guys are doing well. Um, Thank you so, so much again for watching and for your support. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.